subject description remember later on you be very very specific uh, the more specific you are later on the easier it's going to be for you if you're very vague later on it's going to be tough for the coder to, to deliver the goods okay and that's from past experience as well so make sure that you know exactly you know if you handed someone a blueprint on how to do what you want them want done then that's that's what you would that's what you need to give them on the other hand if you want the coder to give you a lot of input you want to put that in as well so you know I'm looking for this done but I also want a lot of input and direction from, a, from an expert so from from a coder who knows what they're doing to give me guidance on this 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 and this so if that's what you want make sure you're very clear on that um, include any files you want to upload that sort of stuff budget again um, same as all the other sites And we'll see if that works. Might have to fill out a few more forms. That's no, looking good. Okay, so once you click on that, you can then choose how you want it to be available. Well, invitation only. Maybe you've worked with coders in the past, later on down the track, and you want to invite them to bid, bid on it again, um, or basically public um, and freelancers. So fill out the rest of the information. I'll just type in um, some information so I can show you the next page. Okay, so that's the, this is the final page before posting the project. I'm not going to post the project. Uh, obviously, this is just a mock uh, listing to show you what's done. So make sure you check everything here. It's very important you check everything, make sure everything's correct. You will get a chance to edit it later on if it's not right, but you know if it's not right, you you'll get bids immediately within the first four to four to six hours. You'll get you know depending on the project anywhere from three to ten bids. Uh, you don't want to be going back and having to tell those guys that the information you put in was inaccurate and they have to rebid and recalculate and all that sort of stuff. So make sure it's done properly. Uh, it'll save you time as well, and uh, the clearer you are later. The, you know the more specific they're going to be and the, the, the faster and more efficient and higher quality of work they're going to be when they actually work with you okay so that covers the post a project tab um, I think with Guru it's pretty self-explanatory in terms of searching the site um, I think this is one of the easier sites to start on if you're just getting out there you might want to start by posting a small project on guru.com and um, basically testing out the interface testing out the availability of some of the coders available and um, going from there to moving on to bigger and better projects so that's a, I guess a personal tour again a couple more things just before I finish up here the um, message board should be available through with coders through here as well. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's available. Here it is. So this is the message board discussion board they call it here. Um, I've got you know ten or so communications with this gentleman, and this is just for you and the coder. Okay, it's for no one else. It doesn't get posted publicly like the project does. Um, and I do believe you also have to verify certain criteria, um, payment criteria, just to secure your identity. And um, it is quite safe. I mean, it's it's a pain in the butt at the start when you're going to put in all these verifications, but it, it is actually a lot safer to deal with coders and for them to deal with you now that you are verified and are a proven person with an identity and someone who actually can also be proven that they can pay once the projects are delivered. Uh, Guru also has escrow, same as the other sites where, you, where Guru accepts the money, keeps the money and doesn't release it until you are happy with the work of the coder. So that's Guru in a nutshell. I really, I think the touring of the site itself um, I hope I've given you a little insight on how to use it. 
if you knew it would have been helpful but I also believe you could you could also just tour the site play around with all the buttons click on everything you can't really go wrong um, read all the things that are, that are important and, and uh, pertinent to what you're looking for I want to finish up by saying it's all about the mindset when you come to these sites know what you want um, think about what you know, revisit your hedgehog concept or, or what Jim Collins likes to call your absolutely core skill that provides the highest value for your company and your business and outsource the rest. Make sure that you're not spending time doing tasks that can be outsourced for less than what you're worth. And in most cases, any almost any tech task or any tedious, repetitive low value task is going to be better outsourced than for you do, to do it yourself and you know part of this course what I put together all these program that these um, videos and also the, the presentations is to get your mindset right so you can really start focusing on what, what's important and take leaps in your business I want to finish up by saying outsourcing is definitely the next phase for people who want to get online and really leverage themselves. Um, it can also be used for a lot of offline stuff, you know, getting books written and that sort of stuff. Really sit down, have a look at your business model, have a look at your strategies, have a look at your mission statement and find out where is where you, know, where you could leverage your business, which areas, sit down, get a mind map going, talk to you know your managers, talk to your your, your business partners talk to your best employees find out you know if you could wave, wave a magic wand online or even offline what would you do that you can't do now due to lack of time or lack of money now that you know you have the entire you know almost an army of coders with unlimited skills available for you ready to work at an absolutely bargain price. They produce world-class work for next to nothing. Um, they work 24 hours a day. They're ready to work with you. They're ready to work for you. Uh, and they're, they're just, they're hungry to help you. So I hope I've helped to give you some sort of mindset change as well as give you a heads up on the how, how successful people use outsourcing to their advantage if you have any other questions, problems, or issues, please email me at info at westlow.com. I really appreciate uh, any feedback as well. And listen, uh, thanks for watching these series of videos. Um, if you haven't seen the Renacoder and Elance one, quickly please watch those before you get stuck into outsourcing. If, if you're getting started, I recommend getting started probably on guru start with something small okay you might want to get a, a web page modified uh, everyone has wet stuff that they uh, you know, wet part of their web page that they want to get modified or uh, get an email written or something or get um, a report written something really simple really easy get used to it put all your um, verifications in on the sites um, and you're ready to go for a much larger scale down the track so that's it for me. Um, if you haven't had an opportunity to soak up some of the other items that you've uh, purchased in this in this product, make sure you have a look. We've got some great ebooks for you. We've also got some uh, interview transcripts, uh, some reports. I've included uh, my PowerPoint presentations and audio uh, audio CD, MP3 files as well. So there's a ton of information in there that you need to start trolling through before you uh, really dive into it. By the end of it, you're going to be an absolute expert, and you're going to have all these guys working for you uh, at the uh, at the end of a, of a string. So good luck with your business. Uh, as I said, contact me if you need anything else. Uh, thanks again, thanks again for listening, and I look forward to touching base in in the future. Take care.